Um, and really, that's all we're going to cover is, we're, and we spent the whole class working on it. So okay. I got so through. The Oxford piece quiz is going to be sometime this week, right? The, the what? The Oxford piece quiz? No. This week, this Friday, you have the Chapter 16 quiz. Chapter the one where you've got, you need to have read the stories before you sit down. Okay. And you can have them open while you take the quiz, but you've only got an hour, and it might be tough to try to finish it in an hour when you're having to flip back and forth between, you know, windows. So. Okay. Okay. So we'll, we'll see you Wednesday, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Have fun at the doctor's appointment. Oh, okay. Morning, Dante. Morning. Did you get a thesis statement and points decided yet? Uh, yes. But you haven't turned it in, right? It's going to be extra credit, so you need to turn it in. Okay. okay. And don't worry, it says it shows it. This is for another argumentative essay, just so I know if I got it. This is the same argumentative essay. Okay. That's all we're working on the rest of the semester is that same, this single essay, okay? Okay. Well, um, as it is, my school, Crosbyton, has gone to state marching. They left today to go to state marching, so I didn't have anybody in class from them. Next week, I will not have New Deal because they're going to state marching. So, and Cooper's gone to state marching. They're marching. They probably they may have, they may be getting set to march. So I'm having to accommodate the school schedule. So that's why there's not a whole heck of a lot going on, which may be good for everybody. Okay. So you can work on that. But what we're going to do is work our way through them, um, so that as I'm working on it, you can see the best way to phrase it. And what I what I had happen in my nine o'clock class was people people were writing informative uh, essays, not argumentative. So I was showing how to turn it into an argumentative essay. Uh, actually, that would be greatly appreciated on how to format that. Well, this is not good because only two people have turned it in in this class. So, but I can always go back and work on my other section. You know, they'll get the benefit, and it's in it's in week ten. So. Okay. <coughs> I started coughing at the end of class. <clears throat> I'm ready to get rid of this cough. <clears throat> well, it's, uh, it's that's because it's allergies. It's really hard to get rid of allergies when stuff is still blooming and falling off the trees and <clears throat> didn't inhale. And people were in and out of my house last night. My, my kids like to bring the, their kids over to trick-or-treat from our house uh. because it's more fun at my house. Because, you know... It just is. <laughs> My daughter laughed though. She put out candy, and she has a she has a security system so um, that records. So anybody who came up to because there was a, a bucket to and it said please take a piece of candy, and of course you know people don't pay attention to that. But when they but it recorded what they were doing. But the thing closed when they put their hand in it to get the candy. So that was kind of amusing. Which I would think it would be. I need to throw away my trash. I thought maybe the mint will help. I took mint to church for the choir to use the whole thing a couple of weeks ago, so now I'm stealing back my mint. One more. Okay. Oh, make it roll six. How could you tell from that photo? Most people can't. Because I like cartoons. Let me tell you, if you want somebody to talk cartoons, you know, one of my favorite cartoons of all time is Avatar The Last Airbender. I am impressed, nonetheless. I consider myself an authority on that one. <laughs> and I, I don't know Cora as well, but I actually, for Christmas 10, 12 years ago, got all, the, got all of Avatar The Last Airbender on DVD. Oh. But now you don't have to have DVD to watch it, so. Right. What? I know all about Aang or Ong. However, it depends on who. Shoot, even within the cartoon, they say his name different. So. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, good morning, Post. Good morning, Morton. <clears throat> Where is everybody at Morton? Hi, Post. I saw them Friday. Mm -hmm. Is that a hard hat? Is that a hard hat? Uh, is it construction week? Okay. Are we constructing thesis? 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 Thesis, sorry. Thesis today. 
Hold on. Um, that's made me curious enough to want to do something. I hope you have laptops out because I really need you guys to submit um, your top your thesis statements with your three points so we can look at them and make sure they're argumentative. Oh, it's Day of the Dead today. Uh, da -da -da -da. Um, and I had my English. Awesome. You're getting organized. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're not sections that we're not okay. All this so, uh, when you go into week 10, don't panic. I decided to give you extra credit for doing the thesis with your three major points. You know, how, with your claim, which is what you're arguing, death penalty should be abolished, and then the uh, ways in which you're going to prove it because it's too expensive, it's not a deterrent, and it's not administered ethically. See how anybody could write the death penalty. I give you <laughs> thesis and the, on the death penalty all the time because it's the easiest one for me to think of. So when you go into, well, it's being cranky. Let's go over to the computer. Um, when you go into week 10, you're going to see right here it says turn in thesis and major points here. Don't worry, it shows a due date of last night. I just put it in, so I have to put a due date in, and I'm not going to count it late. If you turn it in today, you're going to get full credit. Okay, but uh, what you can't see is that that says, just remember you have the test this Friday over the student sample essays in the, in the book on page, it says 371, but I believe it's actually 370, it starts. So when you take that test on Friday, you have to answer questions about those essays, which means you need to have read it before you take it. I'm not, but you can still use it on the test because if you've read it, at least you're kind of familiar with, the, with what they talk about. Because it's going to say, what happened in what paragraph? Where, which parag how would this paragraph, how could you improve this paragraph? You need to have, no, be a little more familiar with it. Because you only get 60 minutes to take the test. Okay? So, I've only got two possible thesis, theses turned in right now. One's Chris and one is, let me see. And no, I haven't started grading your compare and contrast. I'm hoping to get through those this week so that I can start on those summaries and pump them out like crazy. I'm hoping to have, I have two sections left. I've done a few out of the 9 o'clock class, so I'm, I'm getting there. I'm just not moving super fast. I'm going to have to gear it up. So, so. Your it's extra credit. So, but five points here, five points there adds up, and so we could all use an extra five points on it, I would imagine. Okay, so I'm sorry. Uh, so for the weekly checklist on Major Sun, there's very little. No, I was about to ask you about if you can elaborate. Okay. Uh, so model essay to consider 380? Page 380. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, so on Wednesday, I'll talk about this right now. What we're going to do is look at the model essay, which is a professional argument essay. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so that's what we're going to cover, which means I will have you answer questions on it to kind of prepare you for the test on. It will be similar to what they'll be asking on the about the student essays. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, so first up is Carly. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong class. Let me, no, I don't want to do Carly. Carly's in just yet anyway. <coughs> this is getting old, like me, apparently. Okay, so Chris, let's do you first. Chris and Heaven are the only ones who've turned it in. <coughs> All right. So I'm going to make this big and let you guys see what Chris has as his thesis statement. But again, one of the biggest problems I'm seeing is people are doing informative essays, not argumentative. So you have to take a stand. Professional athletes are not overpaid, so there's the stand, right? There's the claim. <coughs> because they entertain millions of people, work incredibly hard to get where they are at, and their, and their industries, that should be they are, and, and their industries, T-H-E-I-R, it should be possessive. Industries generate billions of dollars. <coughs> and they work in, okay. So make sure you use the right there. There, Okay, Chris, are you there at school? Is Chris there? Yeah, all right, woo! Okay, 
So that, that works. Y'all see that? I don't think you can read it. Let me make it bigger. <coughs> Professor, can you see it a little bit better now? Can you guys read that? I can't. My eyes have changed so much in about the last three or four months. I've got to go to the eye doctor in December. So, Professional athletes are not overpaid. There's your claim. Here are the three reasons how you're going to prove it, because they entertain millions of people. I don't know how long that paragraph's going to be. How much can you talk about, and unless you're giving information about how many people watch football. I actually watched the Cowboys last night to watch the end of the game. Hmm. I don't normally watch Cowboy football, <clears throat> even though I grew up being a Cowboy fan. Uh, work incredibly hard to get to where they are at. That could probably be phrased a little bit. And there, T-H-E, okay. Um, I would get rid of and hmm, they work. And you get rid of their industries and just go with they generate billions of dollars. You don't have to say their industry do. You can just say they, meaning the professional athletes. Okay, Chris? And then you have parallel grammatical structures. Are you with me, Chris? Wait, are you with me? Wait, you got it? Okay, fix that. <coughs> I'm going to go down and find the gray area. So here, so that was that easy. Boop, boop, bum, bum. Okay. So we're now over to heaven. Do actors and athletes get paid too much? Does God given talent weigh on the same spectrum? Okay. All right. So heaven, no first person, no questions. Okay. So you still don't have a thesis. Do you see what I'm talking about? The thesis cannot be questioned. And you cannot bring in doctors and lawyers. You just need to say professional athletes, okay, professional actors and professional actors and professional athletes are paid too much money because you're trying to use the proof that a doctor works longer so they should be paid more. I don't know if that's going to fly as an argument. Are you all with me on that one? Yeah. An athlete is not paid in total of their expertise, but the health as well. I don't understand your saying. His career may be over. Okay. Entertainment uh, purpose while a doctor specializes. Okay. Let's, okay, here's my first point. Heaven, don't compare and contrast doctors with professional athletes and actors. That's the wrong thing to do. If you're saying they are paid too much, that they should be paid, okay, they're paid too much, then you need the reasons to affect that. So let's figure out how we can do that. All right. Actors, and so don't forget to use actors in your answer. Professional athletes are paid too much for um, too much for I mean, I'm trying to think well here let's, let's, I'm going to cheat I'm just typing this in see if it can come out Here, well, look right there. And I'm just looking at this. I'm not going to quote from this article. I'm, oh, these are too much to make. I'm trying to see if this has anything in it. In it. Okay, this one says, yes, it is completely justified. Why are other... Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Who's the number one quarterback of all time? Hmm. Okay. Sorry, that's totally off track, and I got sidetracked by it. <laughs> that shows you. That shows you how we all go down our rabbit trails. Okay. Yeah. So wrong one. Here we go. So you, but you're saying they're paid too much for the services. They provide because because they do not. Um, your first one is. Let me go back down. Got to find it. I, you're going to have a hard time arguing that they're paid too much, Heaven. I think is what's going to happen. 
Yeah, because uh, the stuff didn't seem to be too much over there. Okay, I've lost the box where I'd started writing it. Oh, it's right there. That's why I can't find it. Because they do not um, provide a benefit to society. Isn't that what a doctor does in teachers? Um, actually, that may be your only point you have. If you heaven is heaven there at Morton? Is heaven there, guys? Yes or no? Wait your hand. What she's there? Okay. So the problem is is when you look at your second and third points, well, actually you're saying that they probably are. Um an athlete is not paid in total of their expertise but the health as well. I'm not really sure what that means. You know, so because an athlete could be injured and lose their career, they do deserve to get paid that money. That they're because they're providing services and stuff like that. Um, well, it's entertainment. So again, this you don't have enough reasons. I think that's our problem. So, so we're saying they don't provide. They don't do not provide a benefit to society. And do we need a minimum or a maximum of three? You need no. Uh, you should probably get away with two. But there's there's more. There's plenty more on yours. You should be able to come up with lots of topics. What are you doing yours on, Morgan? I've actually already seen one from somebody else today. So. Oh, it's okay. You were thinking something and got sidetracked. It's okay. I do that all the time. I prove that, don't I? Okay. They do not provide a benefit to society. Um, they... Um, Okay, I'm throwing that one out there. I don't know if it, but, you know, they set, they create unrealistic expectations for youth, for the youth. Would you all agree that actors and celebrities create unrealistic expectations for the youth? Okay, let's do this. Let's just, instead of saying actors and professional athletes, let's go with celebrities. Do you see how I'm changing it? Mm -hmm. Because now we can talk about actors means they have to be an actor. But if I say celebrities, then I could talk about um, anybody who's got, you know, a thousand million followers on Twitter or Instagram or TikTok. Those are social influencers, okay? Are paid to, and then you can also talk about athletes. So you, celebrities expands the area in which you can cover this. Are paid too much for the services they provide because they do not. Do not um, okay. All right. Y'all forgive me. I'm going to have to do. This is paternity leave for somebody else. I'm going to type in here. Provide. I just want to do a thesaurus and find a word real quick in place of provide. Um They, I don't like any of these words. That's bad. Let's see. They do not. Hmm. Okay. Um, so I, I'm saying they do not. I'm going to leave for because for services for their. Okay, here we go. That's how I get around it. See what I just did? I got rid of they provide. I went, celebrities are paid too much for their services because they do not provide a benefit to society. They create unrealistic expectations for the youth. And they, um, I don't know. Anybody else got a third idea? And so in that, in the but heaven, in the first point, you could talk about how, um, Un, you could say, well, they, they're not, there's not really a benefit. Entertainment is, do we need that much entertainment in our lives? No. My husband and I sit around and laugh at the kitten. It's 10 weeks old now. It's all over the place. It's funnier than a lot of TV shows. And a lot better than watching Texas Tech football. I'm just telling you, okay? And we are big tech fans, so. So... I'm trying to think. So they do not provide a benefit to society. They create unrealistic 
unrealistic expectations for, for uh, I'm going to say instead of the youth, I'm going to go our youth, not tour. We're not going on tour. Our youth. And see, I could come up with easily why they should be paid that much. Isn't that strange? But in the first one is where you would talk about how athletes do this. Unlike a doctor, they are not spending 40 to 50 years in their career. Most of their careers are limited. They're ill knowledge. Well, that's you can't you can't actually say that because a lot of them are very smart. Well, that is true. But I'm trying to think of maybe experience. Well. You know, if, if we're going to talk about how they're unprepared for real li for life in the real world, that's not why they're getting, you know, that's not. Okay, and I'm still, we'll have to think about that, okay? Come up with another one for you. So, if I think of another one, I'll let you know. But if you wanted to argue that they are paid too much, they are not paid too much, the benefits they provide, their entertainment value, the celebrities, they um, um, actively work in charitable areas. Okay, I've thought of one. I'm too self-involved. I'm just going to throw that out there. They're all about me. I'm getting there. It's not a great point, but I'm getting there, okay? So, and, and I'm just going to tell you, um, my husband, the gentleman who was best man at our wedding for my husband was in the, worked for Universal um, in the uh, music division. Back when they were called records, okay? But one of his clients was MC Hammer, you know, the balloon pant guy. Can't touch this. You see him in commercials. And he showed up in his office one day with his entourage um, and pinned him to the wall, pinned Roger to the wall, wanting to know where his, his profit check was for his, what he'd sold on his albums. A little self-involved, you know. I want it now, like Roger's going to cut a check for him, so, okay. So that's, you know, they, they do tend to be, and it's an industry that tends to make its people self-involved. All you have to do is look at that. All of the celebrities who've had facelifts and, you know, the um, massive amounts of surgery they've gone through. I do think, uh, which is not good. Um, when I get home, my husband has soap operas on. God love him. He has soap operas on, okay? And that is just so traumatic, I'm going to throw out there. Because one of the, whichever one he's watching, and Marlene has been on this soap opera forever, She's now possessed by a demon that possessed her 15, 20 years ago. The same demon is back, and she's possessed. And, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, gosh. But when you, when you watch the soap operas, particularly for the older actors and actresses on soap operas, the amount of work that's been done in this area is amazing. It, you're just kind of like, wow, that's a lot. Okay, I'm going to go back in and see if anybody's loaded anything in for me. Come on, let's open up. That's that's how the other, but you have to say um, you have to make sure that you say children's behavior, uh, the behavior of children in in current times is much worse than in the past because of boom, boom, boom. You got three reasons? Yeah. Okay. Because the advantage I have is that somebody in my 9 o'clock class was doing that topic. So we're phrasing it slightly differently. Okay. Well, I'm going to look at Jose. Jose, wave at me. Jose? Oh, I love that hand over there. Okay. Well, you know, they have to have the best decorated room with that mural on the back. That's all i got to say. Okay? All right, here we go. Standardized test scores are not a good indication of a school's competency because they cause low, lower graduation grades, cause teachers to cheat to meet standards, and they also do not test students on all the attributes they need to learn. Okay. Um, so 
And then you say major points I will talk about are the NCLB, No Child Left Behind, and all the points I mentioned in my thesis. Okay. No Child Left Behind is not actually part of any of your three points on your thesis statement. Okay. It is, it is a call because, let's see, and I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about they cause, how do standardized test scores cause lower graduation rates? Have you got data, 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 whatever his name is? You got that? Wave your hand if you have data on lower test scores causing lower graduation rates. You do? Okay. Have you got it on teachers cheating? Actually, it should be out there. There were uh, quite a few administrators in Houston or around Houston who were involved in cheating scandals, and they do not. And okay, look at your third point. And they do also do not test students on all the attributes they need to learn. What does that have to do with an indication of a school's competency? Are y'all with me on that? They're, that's not exactly apples. That's not. That's an orange in a washing machine right there. So you get my point I'm trying to make? If you're saying standardized test scores are not a good indication of the school's competency, um, then you've got to make sure that in that section you talk about how um, the standards that they don't, obviously that you're not tested on all standards. Have you looked at the English standards? Probably not. The English standards are ridiculous, and they're just as bad in all the other subjects that are tested. Um, so um, you need to make sure that uh, by focusing only on certain standards, it's, we're putting out a product that is not as viable to succeed in society. You guys are now products. Okay. Are you get where I'm going with that, Jose? Hey, hey, Post, I told you guys to win, and you did. Good job. Awesome job. They were playing Health Center, who I have on Tuesday, Thursday. So, okay. So is that good? If we got that, you, you know, you might, you've got to make sure. Um, and you've got to make sure, well, the other thing is it needs to be parallel structure. You've got, they cause lower graduation rates. They cause, I don't, they cause teachers, um, teachers to cheat to meet standards and and also get rid of they hold on get rid of they also it's not the and also only test limited areas from the standards I think that's what you need to say so then when they only test certain standards they're not fitting all the standards that the state says a student needs that has to be brought up, that if we're only, they pick the ones they want. And having once served, I actually went to Austin many years ago and was part of a group of teachers who worked with the testing company that was working on the STAR test. Because at one point in time, juniors were going to have to take the STAR to be able to graduate. Yeah, aren't you glad that didn't happen? And it stuck with sophomores. Mm -hmm. So... So I, I don't know about in, talking about No Child Left Behind, how that's going to work in there. Um, because No Child Left Behind is just one factor, you know. The whole point was that they wanted to make sure everybody was being taught what they needed to be taught. But NCLB kind of went off track there, okay. So work on that, work on that last point. But you, that's the one you've got to focus on and make sure that you really do hit um, the fact that by only testing limited standards, to be honest, went back when I was teaching in high school, if you were going to teach every single tech or teak, it depends on who, that is in the English area, you would need two years to teach it. Yeah. So there's the, this unreal expectation. Uh, there you are. You're in there. Okay. I haven't, I forgot to put a grade on yours. Let me do that. Okay, let's work. There we go. Okay. So heaven knows she needs to work on some things. 
Heaven knows. I thought I probably, because I had it up with another one. Okay, Kaylee, let's go. The cost of college is too expensive for students to afford because who is we? We have growing demand, rising financial aid rates, and lower state funding to help assist with college tuition. Um, <clears throat> rising financial aid rates. Hold on. When in doubt, go to Google. Well, you know, hey, guys. Okay. When FAFSA is enough. See, financial aid is not the same thing. Yeah. Okay. So you're talking about loan rates is what you're talking about. Cost of college is too expensive for students to afford because we have growing demand. Um, I'm not crazy about the way that's phrased because you've got we in there. Because of a growing demand, or because more students are going to college, is that what you mean? Okay, Kaylee. Um, uh, an increase in loan rates. Not a rising financial aid rates, but an increase in loan um, interest. An increase in interest rates on school loans. That's how you phrase it. It took me a second to get there. And lower state funding to help assist with college tuition. Um, that one's okay. It's not rising financial aid. It's increasing uh, interest rates on student loans. Okay. And more students. Okay, so work on that. Kaylee, hope you got it. If you didn't, watch the video. That's the best thing to do right now. Okay, Morgan, you're up next. Okay. Childhood behavior has... I keep hitting P. It's not what... Plus. Childhood behavior has worsened in the most recent decades because of the use of technology, inept parents, and mental health issues. Mental health issues for whom? See my question? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cause, because now you've got mental health issues and you went slash substance abuse. Uh, okay, use of technology. Okay, yeah, because, all right. And uh, society's teaching our kids these bad things, right? Those celebrities, those actors, those actresses, those bloggers, those, I, you know, social influencers and athletes. Bad I things. Like not everyone who deals with substance abuse, I feel like the mental health would be a little more. Okay, that's a good point. Not every kid, not every kid is abusing substances. Yeah. Yeah, three minutes or technology. So obviously tele technology and you have the problem is you have parents who aren't monitoring what their kids are doing with technology. Boy, my daughter's constantly taking phones away, shutting down things on their phones. It's what fun. We barely had computers when I was bringing up my kids when they were young, so. All right. So I th I think it'll work. I would just go I guess what are the mental health issues Ed, that you've seen? Well, with teenagers, it's like you might have a depression, but we're like middle school, not kids. Well, what about? I I think I'm I'm almost thinking bullying instead of mental health issues, but behavior is worse because of the use of tel increased use of technology, um, inept parents, and what else? Uh, what else is there? Hold on. High expectations. What? Look what I just typed in. What has made child behavior worse? What? Kids' behavior may be worse than ever and how to fix it. Good luck. Ten ways you are making your child's behavior worse. 
that thing. Okay, I'm, I'm just reading, there's three factors that really line. The dramatic decline in play in children today compared with the generation or two ago. Kids are pretty much constantly supervised from the time they were born until they're maybe 18. So they never learn to manage their own behavior. That's a good one. Hmm. The second factor is the growth of media. Maybe media instead of technology, because that covers technology, you know what I'm saying? That's a good point to make. I like that one. What's the point of that? It's what? Uh, more exactly, uh, technology to me infers that you're talking about a computer. And, and the internet. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, infers you're talking about what kids do online. The growth of some community that's bombarding us with information and ideas about who we should be and what we should want. Forty years ago, kids figured out who they should be and what they should want, mostly by thinking about themselves. It says, ah, we've seen clinical research that this external focus is associated with anxiety and depression, mental illness. So, The third big factor is just the decline in our communities and connection in our families. That, If you go that way, anxiety, the, the loss of connection in families, or I, I, I don't know, in that parenting would allow you to do that too because parents don't communicate well. Why are chores like, do you think parents are too controlling these days? Helicopter parents. Okay, that's it. does that help? So we've got we've done some looking at stuff for you, okay? So that might, so mental illness now is make is feeling better, but for me, as the as the person who has to grade the paper, so. So technology changed that to media, and then that allows you to hit technology and anything that they're viewing out there. And because we don't think of TVs as being technology anymore, but they are. So um, if you talk media, that gets anything that kids are, because when they, you know, watch TV, we're not even talk about what kids see on YouTube. Oh my God, that scares me, okay? All right, so we've got it, so you've got an idea of what to pick. And so one of the things that you need to be doing over the course of this week and next week is looking for more resources, more research that supports what you're saying. So don't go just Google what I did. Go into Blackboard and, and search in there. Hold on, let me see. I got a message. Okay, on that, I got a message from Mateo. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to update so I can go back in and see if anybody else has submitted. But I have a feeling... Or missing bodies. Oh, there's Dante. Okay. No, that's not you. Nope, I don't have any more. All right, I'm going to go into my 9 o'clock class to help people out. You should be getting yours typed in, Dante. Okay. Because you're here. All right, I'm going to go. Because I know there are several that have come in because they were working on them during class. <clears throat> but they, you know, they've had the benefit so they can... what I get for leaving my mouse at school on Thursday. I had to go out and buy a wireless mouse. I was not driving back out here to get it. Okay. 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 50 items. 61 items. Okay, let's see what's over here. Here we turn in, turn in thesis points and thesis and major points here. Okay, this is from one of my kids from Crosbyton who's at State Marching Contest. So her topic is competition is a good thing for people because of sportsmanship, showing innovation, and developing passions. Okay. First off, her thesis lacks um, parallelism, parallel grammatical structures. It's got to be here. Not that many else. And that's normally you have parallelism as an error that occurs in the thesis statement where you're giving the three things or two things you're analyzing by, okay? That's where it occurs. Uh, my key three points will be about sportsmanship, showing innovation. That's there again. My first point will explain the effects that winning and losing a competition can have on a person's sportsmanship. 
My second key point. Let me explain the way a person's success from competitions leads to better innovation. That would be interesting. Uh, not ex showing innovation. I think that's going to be a weak one. My last key point will explain the way competing helps people gain a passion towards the sport. What was in developing passions? <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to come back and I'm going to say developing positive, positive um, personal traits. That's one. Okay. Um, competition teaches, uh, okay, I'm going to go leadership, responsibility, okay, I'm just not sure what's showing innovation, I've got to write, I, I'm not sure what showing innovation would be, not sure what showing innovation means. So, all right. So that's done. Let's look at the next one here. I have to hit enter. Let's see. This is Emily from Crosbyton. Participation in sports can prevent teens from getting in trouble because of school's random drug testing programs, no pass, no play rule, and being responsible for their actions on that team. Okay. They, are they still doing random drug testing? Hey, Morton, are they still doing random drug testing out of Morton? Yeah. Post, are you guys doing random drug testing? Yeah, okay. And you know, it's like they, they've done it, and the percentages were actually incredibly low for steroid use. So that's why they originally put it in was to check for steroid. Okay. Because, from getting in trouble because of schools, that's got to be possessive, random drug testing programs. No pass, no play rule. Okay, so this is another one that's going to need parallel structure in there. Hold on. I got, wow, that's a really big empty one. That's, here's where I need to be, yeah. Thesis, thesis needs... I wrote in there, your, your thesis needs parallel grammatical structures in the ways you're going to prove your claim. They have to be set up grammatically the same way. <clears throat> Where'd it go? I've lost it. Where is that? There it is. Okay. Do they test for alcohol abuse? I, I thought random drug testing only tested for drugs. It's just drugs. It's not alcohol. So, yeah. Track. Alcohol. Okay. Let's see. Would be a lewd. They're going to be a lewd to play. Okay. All right. Okay, there's another one down. I'm going to be able to finish up my first class. Let's see, here we have, we have Malize, Maliza. I know, that's not how that's spelled. And I say her name wrong all the time. School officials should have stricter laws on cyberbullying as there is little to no repercussions for the bully as it is mostly viewed as harmless teasing, but studies show it can cause lifelong mental health issues. That's kind of wordy, definitely. Okay. Thesis is awkward. Let's see here. Okay, it shouldn't be school officials. It should be school districts. 
not school officials. Okay. Well, it's about bullying. I'm just going to call it bullying. Does anybody else have a jumping cursor? Is it just me? Just me. The cursor just, I was typing, and I leave it, and I come back, and my cursor jumps somewhere else in my, in my text. Because yes, it, I, I guess I talked too fast. Maybe that's it. Like, let me get out of the way. Yeah. Punishment for bullying. A Let's see. The mm-hmm. See what I don't know. The negative effects on the suffering student and. I'm just rewording what she wrote. The effects would be mental health, okay? Um, hmm. So, guess what I'm going to do? I don't have to type in the words correct. Wow, if you're doing bullying, this is a good website, but you know, you gotta have two from SBC. Okay. The negative effects on the separate and the negative effects on the bully. Not pulley. Okay, bully. That's better. Okay. So, I'm still working. Anybody else? Let's see. Anybody's turned in one yet for me to look at? So, the main thing to realize is if you see a five next to your extra credit on this, go in and see if I made any comments, please. Okay? Don't just assume I thought it was hunky-dory. Boy, is that an old word to use. I, one of my depressing things that I realized is how often they put, you know, they post all these things on Facebook about, do you remember this? And all I realize is that everybody who's saying, yes, I remember it, are getting old. Come on. There we go. I'm going to open. Cranky, cranky. Needs cranky. Needs grading. Ah, Marcella, got it. Okay, I'm going to work on it. Ah, yay! Death penalty, finally. Okay, so that's a very general thesis statement. Your thesis statement would be better served if you went in and put the death penalty should be abolished because it does not deter crime, comma, cost too much money, and three, 
Whew, you picked a hard one. I'm not crazy about that last one. The death penalty demonstrates that killing is acceptable, but only when the state is the one doing the killing. Um, why don't you say unethical, and you can bring up that point in that one. So this is how I would change it. Should be abolished because, I'll get back up here. It does not deter crime. I'm going to have to flip back and forth. Cost too much money. Money. And is not administered and then is served equitably. That just means it's not given out fairly, but that cover that should cover your point, I think. Oh, is not moral. That's what I'm trying to say. That's it. Is not a moral punishment. Or ethical punishment. You can use moral or ethical. Don't use both, okay? Just modifying a little bit there. Okay. Let's see. Come back over here. Trying to help you guys out. Where are we at? Oh, we're at 1046. It's almost done. Um, I'll see if I can get another one. Let me check and see if anybody else has turned anything in in this section. Nope. That's it. So um, I will try. I will get them looked at. The good news is you don't have to have a draft ready until you don't have to have a rough outline ready until the Friday before Thanksgiving. Okay. That is, it says work on the rough outline, submit rough outline to the blackboard by midnight, I guess on Wednesday, or you can turn it, you've got, you've got till Friday of that week. And I'm not, because I'm not going to touch them until the next week to look at them. Um, so, um, but when we come back, we'll be reminded about quoting and paraphrasing. After Thanksgiving, you turn in a draft, we do peer revision, and then that next Monday, any questions you have, I answer, and then it's due Monday, December. That's the wrong day. Hold on. Let me look at my calendar. See if I got messed up here. Let's go. November. Yeah, it is the 6th. 12 dash 1. Let's see. Uh, okay. Yeah. So it'll be due on Monday, December 6th, which gives me seven days to get them graded. Your conference is scheduled to end in two okay. minutes. Okay. So that's all I got. We're about done. You guys have a great rest of Monday and Tuesday, and I'll see you Wednesday where we're going to, you need access to your textbooks, okay? Is the quiz on Friday over Chapter 16 and those two student essays that begin on page 370. One's about, you think I could remember, but I can't. One is about, um, Lord. About teens and something. That's embarrassing. It's, I can't get my mouse to work. So I'll see you Wednesday. So I'll remind you again what it, what they're about. One's about it's there's two readings. One's about a night somewhere and something else. Okay. You guys are lucky. I I thought we were in week eleven this week. Oh, it's over teenagers and jobs and the local news is what the two readings are about. <coughs> okay. You trying to get that in? Yes. Okay. So far, I'm currently just trying to figure out what in deducting from 30,000 and 30,000 words. What? I, I looked through 3,000 and 2,000 different essays. I'll, For I'll, I'll explain it a little bit.
you were searching in there, were, so you, you're I looking at two different uh, articles mm -hmm. and viewpoints okay. from two different essays. Okay. One is 2,000 words, the other is 3,000. Okay, so you're searching Your for conference is now over. Okay, Goodbye. So have you found information on the cost of euthanasia? That is what I'm trying to figure out. Well, you know what's even easier? Wow. Oh, that's how much it costs to put a dog down. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Mm, I'm one, oh, God. That's a, that's a bit much, I'm going to be honest. Really, because that's not what my vet charges me. I'm just going to throw that out there. But I, I, I paid a, and the cremation was involved in it, too. Okay, hold on. Well, it's surprising because an animal shelter did my Hmm. Hold on. Eighty nine hundred twenty eight words. I'm going to go back up here, and to save time, I'm going to talk about euthanasia costs. No, let's go with... Oh, okay. So I'm thinking opposing viewpoints is not the right one to search in for specifics like that. Euthanasia... Euthanasia and B E N E F I T S. Okay. I typed in euthanasia and benefits. Okay. What is the great benefit? Here's an article. It's not bad. Look. And it's 14 pages long. 